Murray's front office was busy once again as they worked to fill the huge void left by all-star first baseman Freddie Freeman. Yesterday, they struck gold, in my opinion, as they acquired veteran first baseman Matt Adams from the St. Louis Cardinals for Juan Yepes and Cash. This move fills multiple areas of need on our current roster. First of all, it lengthens our lineup once again with left-handed pop in the middle. And with that short porch and the hitter-friendly SunTrust Park, he should fit in simultaneously at in our offense and not miss a beat. Also, he solidifies first base. Although Jace Peterson has done a very good job as our super utility, it's nice to have a guy that's had multiple games of experience there and is big and can get in front of some balls that maybe Jace can't. He also fills a great need when Freddie comes back in late August because he can come off a bench and provide power, which we have none of currently, and he can strike fear into opposing teams and managers to make them think about who they're going to bring in. Last year, he hit 324 with a handful of homers and just is far better than anything we can offer right now unless one of our big boys gets a day off, then we have that threat. But outside of that, there's not much. Unless you're talking about Emilio Bonifacio, who is hitting a terrible 167 with just three RBIs and in recent days has struggled with the fun fundamentals like getting bunts down and other aspects of the game that can change the result of, of games as we all know. So Matt Adams does a myriad of things for this team that is trending upward and, and fighting as hard as they can to stay in the race. Additionally, Matt Adams is not just a rental player. He isn't a free agent until 2018, to, till, until after the 2018 season, giving us um, options and um, areas to play him and just another year, another piece that could help escalate this rebuild and make us competitive even quicker. Because, honestly, we're only six games out after winning two against the Washington Nationals, which hasn't happened a lot over the past several years. So we should be happy about that. And we are only six back. And with the bullpen, the Nationals bullpen the way it is, who knows what can happen. We just need to stay consistent, stay afloat. And the addition of Matt Adams is definitely going to help that. We're only four games under 500, and we're just we're just fighters, and we're just gonna keep fighting, and and do this for Freddie almost. Um, it's just a great thing for this organization to believe that we have a chance, even without the all-star caliber player that we lost a few days ago. Um, I promise all of these won't be about the Braves, but they've just had a lot of storylines over the past week or so. In fact, tomorrow I think I'm going to tackle uh, my opinion on the annoying LeVar Ball, the father of UCLA star Lonzo Ball. So hopefully tune in for that one. My opinions, as you know, are unscripted. So, I hope you've enjoyed these, and I will continue to do them.